everyone, Mr. H here. Uh, we are on Transformation Project Part 3. All right, so in Part 3, we're going to continue with this one. We can do a, what, um, reflection or rotation. Um, I like to do reflection next because it's easier. Rotation is involved turning, and turning means you have to go to a different thing to do it. Which will we go through it anyway, but let's do reflection. So um, to help you go through this one quickly, because it's easiest thing to do. So translate 10 units to the left and one unit up and reflect the, 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 the things. Click on the text and then you can type in the reflection. Reflection. Uh, let's say I want to do reflection from my last answer. You can do reflection from the original, either one. It doesn't matter. Uh, reflection, um, reflection across the reflection the previous previous image image across or yeah across. The x axis. Now I wonder on paper you can draw the arrow to point from one to another. Can you do that here? I didn't explore this one yet. Let's see if we have that option. Um, give me one second. Let's do this. Uh, change, mix the sizes, medium, and this bold and that. I don't know how, how to call it. And uh, this one blue. All right. Uh, look like it needs to move lower because it's reflection, right? It's gonna we need more space down below. You can leave it there. Yeah, leave it there would be fine. Ooh, ooh, this is the problem. You cannot zoom in and out. It's changed the size. Oh, I I see the problem. Okay, so first of all. Remember this, right click and then fix object so it's not going to move. Same thing here. If you put it up here, right click and fix the object so it won't move anymore. Ooh, that was freaked me out for a second. Okay. Now, oh, still. But yeah, just leave it there. Fix the object so it's, you technically cannot move it if you don't plan to move. Don't plan to move it. Um, fix the object. Yeah, don't worry. Just send me the link and then I will take care of this. All right. Um, so what I tried to tell you earlier is draw the arrow pointing to the other one, which we can not. Uh, we can look at the vector. Let's see how does it look when you do vector. Yeah, I'm not really into this so much. Go back. Okay, let's see if I do the vector and make this dotted line and also make it thicker. Okay, it looked decent enough, right? What do you think? All right, from here to here. So at least that tell me that you go from your or original image and you move your first thing, you're going to move to the left side by translation. Okay, now let's say if I don't want the label to show, you can click on that and don't show the label. There you go. Perfect. And let's say if you don't, oh, I wonder if can you hide the point too? If you don't want to show the point, is that possible? Uh, setting and show the object. Wow, look at that one. You can hide the object. Oh my goodness. You can hide both points. So they will just the arrow. Okay, I like this. All right, so we know this is the heart shape, right? And reflects across the x axis. So your mirror line right here. So what you do is pick a point and count how many boxes from this point to the x-axis. So point A is one, two, 
two boxes away from the x-axis. So the mirror will do the reflection is reflect two boxes down. So your new A is going to be right here. Okay. Uh, J is one, two, three, four, five. So it's reflect five boxes down. One, two, three, four, and five. This is your new J. If you want, you can try with I. So, well, technically I is just one box down from J. We can try this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we go down one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, make sure it will make a heart shape. If it doesn't make a heart shape, you did something wrong. Now, the second thing I realized, there may be a problem. Look at the axis. If I zoom out so much, it's going to go by two, and that's going to mess up your graph. Okay, make sure your unit is go by one instead of by two, like this. Make sure it's go by one. And then if you want to go lower down, click on the move, and then do this. Okay, uh, all right. Now, we know it's a heart shape, so I'm going to continue with my design. So it's really important that if you know your design from the beginning, the rest of the work is easy because you just need to predict where is a certain point at. Then that's it. Like this one is one down and one over from J. So reflection, you're going to go one up and one side from J like that. So we know this. A, now it's the second image. It's going to be A double prime. A, and then ship, and then the hyphen next to the enter. That will give you double prime, or you prime, or you put the prime twice. Uh, show the value. <coughs> Excuse me. This will be L, right? The image of L, so this will be L prime. And show the value uh, S. Beautiful. All right, we're going to come back together for the last part, which is part three, uh, part four, sorry, part four for the rotation. Thanks, everyone, for watching.